welcome or welcome back. We are in a new environment. Please ignore that. Actually, this background feels very distracting. Let's just fix that. Much better. Okay, back to the video. I'm temporarily back at school. The subject of this video is this orange piece that I found in a thrift store. It was around $10 if I remember correctly. And when I found this piece, I thought, oh my God, this is gorgeous. I look like a pumpkin. I love it. I need it in my life. I also need to cut it up and change it completely. <laughs> I knew I wanted it to be a two-piece because I like the idea of switching it up. That's typically what I go for. I go for two pieces. But when I do these kind of projects, I go very intuitively. I don't really have a plan. I, I don't even have a plan. Do you have a plan? I don't even have a plan. But hopefully you enjoy watching me trying to figure out how to get this piece from what it is to what it becomes later on. Now. I'm thinking of making it into a two-piece. Also, I think this is way too big and it would look better higher. That way I could just keep the buttons where they are and I wouldn't have to re-sew them because that sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> I think if I start by sewing the bottom part, then I'll figure it out. Here's the top part. Here's the top part. Let's see what it looks like on. Hmm. I can afford to make this more adjusted because the buttons are real buttons so I can actually get in and out of it. I think I'm going to start by unsewing this part right here, see where it goes from there. So the color was not the look I was going for. It's a little too clean and preppy. Try and imagine a French casual vibe, you know, like French, like very nice and clean and straight lines. I think I'm just gonna remove the sleeves all together because I'm gonna have to re-sew the bodice part anyway, but I wanna see what this looks like when it's unsewed, just so it gives me an idea of where I could be going with this. All right, so what do we think? I'm kind of thinking it would be cute with like an elastic, like this, maybe not. Okay, I'm just gonna unsew the whole thing. <laughs> At this point, I really didn't know what I was going for and I didn't touch this piece for a couple weeks, maybe months, <laughs> until I knew more like what direction I was leading towards. I knew I wanted the top part and the bottom part to be separate because it was a lot of orange and I knew it would be easier to wear this in my everyday life if they were not sewn together. The collar part was gone, it was not the look I was going for. I really liked the idea of reusing the sleeves but making them more Frenchy and cottagey inspired. As for the top part, I had a plan but I didn't have enough fabric with the actual top and I knew I had to take one of the panels of the skirt and use it for the top part, so that was the plan. I knew I wanted it to be more adjusted without it being more um, contraignant. I did a few tests out of leftover fabric I had from other projects and I finally figured out what I wanted. I made what I think. I kind of kind of made like a patron. Gosh, so many French words. <laughs> but that's what I used to actually construct the top of this outfit. And now I'm ready to cut into the actual orange fabric. Oh, okay. It's fine, it's fine, this is gonna work out. Let's just pull it down a little bit. That way it's exactly where it's supposed to be with the buttons and everything. This is fun. Not stressful at all. Not stressful at all. I'm ready to cut, I'm ready to cut, I'm ready to cut, I'm ready to cut. What's up? <sighs> okay. So here are the front pieces. I saw a sewing hack on TikTok that you could use a groomer device to unsew things. Why didn't I think of that before? That makes so much sense. I have this one that I bought for my pet, so I'm just gonna try it out. But it's working. <gasps> This is revolutionary. I'm not gonna lose all this time just unsewing stuff. I'm picking it one little piece at a time. I can just clip it away. Using the clipper was much faster. It did kind of nick the fabric at some places. So that's a normal hole and that's a nick. Honestly, it's fine because it was much faster. I'm gonna unsew one of the sides as well to make one long panel instead of a hoop. Hoop and then we'll cut out what needs to be cut out. Perfect. I've been hard at work on the top. 
I am now at the point where I'm working on the sleeves. This is what used to be the sleeve. So this goes up here and I wanted this part to be gathered. So I sewed a casing of some sort and I'm just gonna sew this on the edge and then this is gonna go inside the casing. That way you can't see it and it creates that gathering effect that I'm looking for. See, there it is. And I don't really care if it's not perfect because this is gonna be folded over anyway. And I'm gonna take this handy little diaper pin thing in this drag it into the casing all the way around. I'll just sew this elastic together and then that way it'll be done. I'm gonna try and not flash you. Oh my goodness, can you see how absolutely adorable this sleeve is? I pinned this because the sleeve is too big, but that was the plan already because I want to gather the top part here too so it, go it bunches up a little bit. I don't want to show you the top though yet because I really want to surprise you because I'm so proud of my work. Oh my goodness. But yeah, so this is all pinned into place and I'm just gonna unpin it and then do one simple stitch here, gather that stitch, and then sew the sleeve onto this top and then do the skirt and then I'll be done. I can't believe it, this is going so well. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Do I look like a jolly little fairy that loves orange and is about to, you know, make everyone's day brighter? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know if it's too much yellow, but I really love the learning process I've gone through. First of all, the skirt is not finished. I know it looks finished, but it's not, okay? I did not finish the edge. The jewel of this, though, is the top. I am so proud of myself. The hardest thing, honestly, was making this close because if I kind of like slouch over, then it opens and it used to open so bad, but now it's much better. I finagled and I unsewed and re-sewed a bunch of things. So now I think it looks good. And worst case scenario, I have some of that Hollywood tape and that way it's not gonna open. But yeah, I'm still incredibly happy with the end result the length of the top. I'm not sure if I should make it just a tiny bit shorter. The skirt doesn't really want to sit down here. It wants to sit like up here. This would need to be shorter. So I don't know if I should do that. Also, as I previously mentioned, the length of the skirt, it's just maybe too much orange, but maybe I should just not wear these together and that'll fix the issue. I'm not sure. You guys let me know. But that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't hesitate to subscribe. And on that note, I will see you guys uh, next time. Bye-bye.